In this problem, we have two equally charged particles held at a distance of r equals 3.2 times 10 to the negative third power of meters from one another. Once they are released from rest, both particles begin accelerating. Particle 1 initially accelerates at uh, 7 meters per second squared, and particle 2 starts accelerating at 9 meters per second squared. We are also told that the mass of particle 1 is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 7th power of kilograms. Now, part A of this problem asks us to find the mass of particle 2. When we have a force between two particles due to their charges, there is one single Coulomb force acting between them. So the magnitude of the force on the two particles is equal. If you don't fully understand that, then this can also be described using Newton's third law. When particle 1 exerts an electrostatic force on particle 2, then particle 2 is going to exert a force of equal magnitude on particle 1. Therefore, we can say that uh, F sub 1, 2 or uh, the force on particle 1 due to the presence of particle 2, is equal uh, to F sub 2, 1, or the force acting on particle 2 due to the presence of particle 1. Now, Newton's second law tells us that a force is equal to the mass uh, times acceleration. So let's rewrite this equality as m sub 1 a sub 1 equals m sub 2 a sub 2. Now this represents that the mass of particle 1 uh, times the acceleration of particle 1 is equal to the mass of particle 2 times the acceleration of particle 2. And this tells us the force acting on each particle. Now we are solving for m sub 2, the mass of particle 2. So let's divide both sides of this by a sub 2 to get m sub 2 on its own. And this is equal to m sub 1 times a sub 1 divided by a sub 2. Now let's substitute the values in we have for accelerations and the mass of particle 1. And we get a mass for particle 2 of 4.9 times 10 to the negative seventh power kilograms. Now, part B asks us to find the magnitude of the charge on each particle. The problem already told us earlier that the charges on each particle is equal, so we're only looking for one value here. We already know that a force acting on an object or a particle in its most general sense, is equal to ma, the mass times the acceleration, and if that force is electrostatic, then it's also equal to Coulomb's law, or k times the absolute value of the two charges multiplied by each other, divided by the distance between them, r squared. Once again, the charges are equal, so I'm rewriting the charges as a single charge squared. We're solving for the charge, so let's use some basic algebra to isolate the charge. We'll divide all sides of this by k, multiply all sides of this by r squared, and then take the square root to get a single absolute value of the charge on its own. And here is the formula we come up with. Now we want to plug in our values, but make sure that your mass and acceleration values correspond with one another. In other words, use m sub 1 and a sub 1, or use m sub 2 and a sub 2, but don't use something like m sub 1 and a sub 2, or something that doesn't correspond. That won't work. Plugging in all our values, we get a charge of 7.1 times 10 to the negative 11 coulombs.